Hey there everybody, it's Friday, so that can only mean one thing. It is time to open up and take a look at the mail this week. So we're actually going to start off with this one. This is not a deja vu from earlier this week from my last video. This is actually a piece of mail that came in on Friday. So I got this one from a Canadian seller. And uh, I didn't really need to pick this one up, but uh, I thought it would be appropriate and kind of fun given the, uh, the whole project itself. So I'm going to take it out of the package and I'm going to put it here uh, in the corner to hang out with us for the rest of the pickup video. Let me just take it out of the box here. I already took a look a little earlier, but uh, I feel like this is the most appropriate card to be included if you're going to do any Project 2020 stuff. Because uh, when I think of Project 2020 and I think of it historically, this is probably the card I'm going to be thinking about and I'm going to chuckle at myself a little bit. Oh yeah, you got to do it. It took all of my willpower not to do uh, some epic music when I put it on the screen, but uh, just the same, uh, Ken Griffey's going to hang out here. And um, I felt kind of bad for the seller because uh, it is a Canadian, it was a Canadian seller, so, you know, trying to support local. But at the same time, uh, they very clearly uh, lost some money because uh, I got it for, uh, I would say, comfortably cheaper than it cost buying it directly through Tops. And I can't blame them because at this point they're probably fire sailing the things out. So uh, I feel bad in one sense, but in another sense, I definitely wasn't going to pay the full price uh, considering there's a, a couple of those out there, you know, just about 99000 So there you go. There's one of 99000 Okay, next card was just kind of a fun card. I'm put, I'm put, I'm kind of building up a little budding PC of this player, but uh, and we'll kind of see how it goes. But I really do like, I like his swing. I like the way he approaches the game in the sense of hitting, and I I, I like good hitters. So I definitely wanted to add this one here. This is from uh, the 2020 Prism. This is from the Fireworks insert, Juan Soto, and this is the. Uh, I think with Prism we're talking uh, the Prism Silver. But you can see there you got some nice shine on there. And actually, let me take it out of this, uh, let me take it out of this uh, team bag so we can get a little better view of it. Oh my goodness, it's a team bag inside a team bag. No wonder it was dulled out. Okay, hold on. Hang on there. Good packaging, though, by the seller. Good job by them. It's a little clearer. It's a little easier to see. There you go. Now you're getting a better sense of it. And the cool part is it does have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of etching there as well. Hopefully that angle helps a little bit. It's a little tough to see, but... If you look around there, around the pants, the, the wrinkles there, and then, of course, the uh, the name and number. But these are just sweet cards in person. So it's one of those things, even if it's not like a super expensive insert, and this wasn't, uh, it's just a sweet looking card. I'll probably get a regular version of the card as well, just to go along and compliment it, but I might have to grab one of those zip folios and start putting some of those, um, one of those Z folios and start getting a couple of these Juan Soto cards together because I'm definitely picking up a bunch of them. A little bit at a time as time goes on, uh, and probably I'll have some rookies in as well, just to kind of add. But uh, I'm just stockpiling a couple of them here and there, just having some fun with it. Inserts like this are more for the PC than anything else, just having some fun. But if I can have some nice shine like this, why not? So there we go. Juan Soto, fireworks. This next one is kind of, uh, it's a nice card, but it's kind of unfortunate, uh, given the circumstances. I've been liking a lot of this 2020 Select. So this next one is from, uh, I ordered this well before anything happened, so you'll see when I show it to you. So this is the Mike Soroka. This is the 2020 Select. This is the gold version. And again, we get the nice etching. So that's kind of cool. There you go. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. Again, look around the wrinkles uh, of the jersey here. And it is a gold version, which is really cool. You have to capture the light just right in order to really get the shine on it. But it is a sweet looking card in person. And the gold is numbered to 10. So that is card number 10 of 10. Real shame about... Uh, Real shame about him getting injured, but hopefully he uh, he does a good he does well in his rehab and he's able to come back next year. This year's just been a strange one anyway, so it's one of those things where it's a bit of a wash I think for a lot of the players. I'm happy they're playing and you know I'm happy the games are on, but at the same time, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world to kind of have an ex a legitimate excuse, obviously an injury, uh, to walk away for the season because this season's just a weird one and uh, a lot of players are risking injury and at the same time, you know, we really don't know what's going to happen once, you know, if they can make it to the regular season, what happens after the regular season. But at the same time, I'll take the games while I have them. But a card like this is just a nice, fun card to have. And uh, I got it at a reasonable price, so I don't mind. So there you go. Mike Soroka, gold, some select, 2020. A lot of selects uh, lately. So we'll do one more select here. This is a, a duplicate of a card I got the other day as well. So, so this is from select, 2018. So it's another Aaron Rodgers. I'm just liking these things. Putting together a little group, a uh, lot of these different uh, Prism and Selects for Rogers as well. 
I'm enjoying them. So another silver. Don't need to spend too much time on that one. The next one here is also from 2019-2020 uh, Stature. So I was, I've been working on a lot of the different Medanos from that. So this is not a Medano, but it is from the Dallas Stars. I thought I would pick up a card of this player uh, because I didn't have any memorabilia or autographs from him. And uh, still my favorite team, even though the current iteration is not necessary. They frustrate me from time to time, although they did win last night. So that was good and avoided overtime barely. But uh, Tyler Sagan has been a very good player for them. And this is just a sweet looking card, hard signed autograph. There's a lot to like about it. And the price is very fair. He really is a great player, and it's one of those things that makes it frustrating that there are some good players on this team, but, you know, it, it for some reason, the, the combination just hasn't worked out. It's one of those things, though. We'll enjoy it for what it is, and it's nice to have little souvenirs like this of the era. So here is a Tyler Sagan from this year's Upper Deck Stature. Next couple of cards here are going to stick with the Stature theme. So this is actually a portrait variation of that rainbow that I showed you uh, probably last mail day, if not the one before that. So this is actually the portrait version. And this is the base. So this is number 285. But it is a really nice looking card. And again, you're still sticking with that, sil that nice foil with the design and everything. Really great looking card. So there's only two variations of this. Uh, I expect to have one in the mail. And the one of one has actually surfaced. And I've been in communication with that person. Uh, we'll see if anything comes of it. But it's one of those things. I'm keeping the communication lines open. And if the opportunity presents itself, I'll definitely look into it a little bit further. But for now, I'm quite content to have this one. And probably I'll get the next one in in the next week or two. So we're definitely making some progress on some of these stature cards. Sticking to that same theme, there is one insert card in stature that Medano is in. And that is this one. It's the Century Momentous. So that's commemorating the Stanley Cup Championship. So you got Medano there holding up the cup from 98-99. And that was uh, the look of combination elation and uh, also uh, exhaustion. I think it was the triple overtime game in game six against Buffalo where they finally won. I have to kind of think about it a little bit because it's been a long time since I've watched uh, a replay or anything of it. But I did watch it originally and my thoughts were, could somebody please score so that I can go to bed? Because it was getting late and I was getting extremely tired. Although I did get sucked in when they did a replay on uh, CBC probably a couple of years back. And uh, it was frustrating all over again, even though I knew what the result was. But that's a nice looking card. This one's got a couple of parallels as well. And to go along with that, so this is the red version. So the red version is numbered to 45. And a couple of these should be on the way as well. And I'm working on a rainbow of these guys. I'll talk about it more once I get a few more of the cards in. But they are really lovely looking cards, as you can see. I think that rainbow will look pretty sweet if I manage it. All right, so the last two to finish this off are a couple of nice autographs. So we're going to do this one here from, uh, it's actually, I think, 2018-2019, although it's labeled 2017-18 Ultimate Hockey. I have to double check that, but anyway. So it is an autograph on card from Medano during his one-year run in Detroit. I don't have too many Detroit-era Medano autographs, and it's a nice one. It's hard signed, so that's a cool-looking card. So I just thought it was nice to have it for comparison and contrast. So very cool. Nice and clean auto. And this last one's kind of fun. This is from 2012-2013 uh, Artifacts Hockey. And this is a, uh, I guess, double jersey autograph, I'll say. And it is kind of the silver version. It is numbered 6 of 12. So it is a sticker auto. But it is a pretty nice looking card. You got the nice silver foil here at the bottom. It's 6 of 12 there. Very cool card. We'll put that there to finish off our mail day. With Project 2020 Griffey presiding. So a nice little mail day. Some nice stuff came in the mail. Uh, there's a there's a bunch of some... Uh, I feel like I re I'm a broken record on this. But there's definitely some really cool stuff here that I'm waiting on. And it's just going to be up to the mail gods to decide uh, when and if that comes in. And I'll be keeping an eye on it. So obviously we got a lot more stuff in the mail this time around. We did the one card mail day last week. And then this week we had uh, 10 cards. Uh, last thing I'm going to do really quickly before I call it off. I'll give you a quick update. I'll also put it on the screen. So right now with these latest additions, I am up to 1,377 different unique Mike Medano cards, including 131 certified autographs and 206 memorabilia cards. So those are kind of some uh, things I'm keeping track of as I go along and as I make progress. 
My goal by the end of the year was to get to 1400. I'm pretty confident we're gonna blow by that. I'm still waiting on a Concy order that's, uh, that was just, that I got shipping notification on just earlier this week. So that's on the way. And that's gonna be 135 cards. So when that, com when that comes in, that's gonna warrant its own video for sure. But that's gonna definitely add some pieces. So I'm, I'm pretty confident in telling you that uh, we've definitely blown past 1400 different cards. Once I get everything indexed and counted, I'll, I'll be able to let you know where we are specifically. And then of course, there's also other stuff that I'm waiting on from eBay. Collecting times are, uh, are happening and they're happening very well. Anyway, I think that's it for today's video. If you have any comments or questions, as always, I'm more than happy to reply. And uh, we'll be back with more videos coming up soon. Thanks as always for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.